Brooke again. I'm here with Milana. Milana. Milana's back and we are drawing another octonaut. Another octonaut. All right, who are we drawing from octonauts today? Turnip the jelly bean. Turnip the jelly bean? Yeah. Is that his name or is that what you call him? That's what I call him. Turnip the jelly bean. Does he look like a jelly bean? Kind of. Okay, I like it. All right, let's get started. All right, we're going to get started right here, a little above center, and we're just going to draw a small little circle. Underneath that circle, we're just going to draw a super short, tiny little line. Good. Now starting over here on the side of the circle, we're just going to make a C. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, making a backward C, and the two C's are going to meet up right in the middle. Now, starting underneath our C's, we're going to make a U going from one side over to the other. And then we're going to go ahead and color that small little section we just made in. Good. Now underneath there, we're just going to make a long curved line, kind of like a smiley face that just curves down and up. And look at that, we've created Turnip's mouth. Now we're going to come over here onto this side and we're going to make a nice tall oval. Inside that oval, we're going to make a small little circle up here in the corner. Now we're going to color that whole thing in black as his eye, except that little tiny circle. We're going to leave that white. Now over on the other side, we're just going to make a curved line that curves up and down. And that's his other eye because he's going to be winking. All right, let's come up nice and high above his nose. Now we're going to start right up here. We're going to start up nice and high, and we are going to create a curved line that comes over and down right past his eye, and it finishes about even with the bottom of his mouth. From that line, we're going to bring it back into center, and we're just going to create a curved line that finishes right underneath his mouth, but without touching. And now we're going to create a matching line that comes down and out over to the other side. Good. Make sure it goes just past his winking eye. All right. Now we're going to come up high above his winking eye, about even with the other side. And we're going to just curve it down and connect these two lines right here. Now we're going to come back up on top and we're going to connect these two lines, but they come together at a little bit of a point in the middle. So we're just going to bring it up and back down, kind of like an upside down V. Now we're going to come over here and add a little diagonal line and another diagonal line. And I'm going to make one on the other side. And another, and it's going to curve around and up. Good. Now let's come up to the top, and we're just going to make two small lines on each side of our point. One and two. Let's start with that line over on the right side, and we're just going to curve it up and out towards the top of our page. Good. From the top of that line, we're going to make another line that's just going to curve out and it's going to come back to meet up right here at the bottom. From right where we just finished, we're going to create another line coming up and over to the other side. Now at the end of that line, we're going to do a diagonal line coming back. Then we're going to give it a nice little curve turn right there. 
Good. And we're going to bring it back down, almost touching our bottom line, but not quite. And now we're going to create a diagonal going back up. Let's turn it the other way by making a diagonal that comes back down. Once again, let's curve that bottom line and bring it back down and in. Once again, not quite touching. And one more time, we're going to create a shorter line coming out straight sideways, a diagonal coming down. We're going to curve it back in once again, and this time we're going to bring it in to connect with our other line. There we go. Now right up here, we're going to go ahead and create a little mountain that's just going to come off the side right here and connect right back in. You got it. There we go. All right, let's come over here on our left side, and we're just going to help this line keep going so this line we're going to just extend it out a little bit longer. From there, we're going to curve. From there, we're going to draw a line coming almost straight down that's going to curve in just a little bit. We're going to leave a small space and create another line as if it keeps going. Once again, we're going to leave a small space, and this time we're going to create a line that's just going to curve up and connect over on this side. He's looking pretty cute. Now right down here where that gap was, we're going to start on this side and we're going to create a curved line coming down and over to the right. Then from the other side, not quite starting at the end of that line, but just a little bit up, we're going to create a diagonal coming down, and it's going to U-turn back to connect with the other line. Now coming back up, we're going to start on this line, again, not quite on the end of the line, but a little bit in, and we're just going to create a curved line going over and down. Now let's come over to the other side, and we're going to create a line that's just going to come over to the left, got a little bit of a diagonal to it, and then we're going to curve it, then we're going to curve it around, and we're going to attach it to the other line as well. Now let's go ahead and come back up here, right about where these lines connect. We're just going to draw a curved line that curves out and up. At the top of that line, we're going to go ahead and make a U-turn. And we're going to bring it down and connect it back in right about here. On the other side, we're going to start right where these lines connect right here. And we're going to create a line that comes out and curves down. And then we're going to come back in just below that line. And we're going to make another curved line coming down and connecting. And there it is. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. Can you believe that our turnip is all done? Well, now of course we have to color. So let's grab our markers and let's get started coloring.